this old machine's a little bit uh, cold blooded and um, before I do anything serious on the machine, I like to run it for at least an hour or so. Uh, the machine was uh, intended to run uh, all day. And, uh, you know, doing intermittent work with, uh, with one of these like this one was kind of tough because uh, they're all a little bit different. And I've operated quite a few of these. And this is about the most cold-blooded one I ever ever run. And it take, I'm not kidding. It takes an hour to warm this thing up. But I got it running right now about um, uh, 1,500 RPM, and I got it in a in a high feed. And it's put the carriage up, and the carriage just moves like this. Look at that. One finger. I get it on the right spoke, huh? Just real nice, these are nice. Really oiled. When it sits, the carriage sticks, and you really don't want to move them like that. You want to pump them up. Oh, that's very, very nice. And the same with the cross slide. Move that back. I was pumping oil all through the air pump, and you want to run the cross slide back and forth a few times to prepare the machine. I hope I'm going to crash into that. But you want to run it all the way. Maybe a couple times, huh? If you have these inch metric dials, it's nice to put them in neutral here. That way they ain't cranking so hard. Like when they're locked up so they're harder to turn on. They so put it in neutral and they just float. Like that, run that uh, cross side back and forth. You want that uh, fully lubricated. I, I got cut off in the last video, but I want to point out that um, this is a precision instrument. It's, it's not an engine like, like that old Axelson out there, which is a great machine and accurate, but this is a precision instrument. Some of you are aware of that. See that, that's starting to feel better. Oh, yeah. Nice film. Now you want to make sure that all the oilers are working on this because it's not good if, if they're not. You know, you can feel the oil on the ways. You just want to make sure um, the oilers are working. The engagement ball at the same time. And this reverse knob here. Now that oil up the clutches. Bring the oil from the bottom of the apron onto the clutches. Now, you can feel it. They should just not grab. You see that thing is it. See? When they're oiled, you can feather them. Now the same with the carriage. They come around, I'll catch the handle. Look. You see when it kind of bounces like that, it needs a little more oil. 
So you just kind of engage it, disengage it, and give it so it just will slip. This one's being a little stubborn. There, it feels good, see? Well, I think I'm engaging a little hard. Here, I'll let go of it. Yeah, you don't want them to be too grabby. This one is acting a little bit grabby. There we go. It takes a while for them to oil up. That's doing good right there. That, I felt that oil on the tongue. Real good. Yeah, see these things should gather. Or really be solid. Alright. How are we doing on time here? I would keep going a little bit. Now I got this uh, running in that fast speed, I'm gonna stop it. And I'm going to put it uh, in the fine feed, which would be in the B range. Here we go. Now, I start the lathe at 600, and it, it's just easier on the machine, less of a jolt. So I got that little mark on the knob. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, see that's turning slower. Now, the one knot that you can use on this machine while it's running is the a, uh, CDE knot right here, and it gives you three feet, see? Fast speed. You just don't want the carriage engaged. You see, it's okay to shift that knot. Nothing's grinding, see that? No. Um, Let's, uh, let's get her up, run in uh, 1,000 there, let's get her up 2,000. Sound it pretty smooth. Get her up 3,000, whoa, 3,500. Up 3,400. Now, stuff has to kind of warm up. The belt's got to warm up a little bit. But this thing is really plain smooth. Okay, we're gonna wind her up. Okay, that's that's four thousand. No last. This thing is real smooth. It's smoother than I'm used to. You flat back and off. The 3800, which is right here. There's 3800 RPM. It sounds a little bit like a turbine. Okay, when I stop the machine. The dynamic brake will kick on. Now check this out. Two seconds. Now I don't like to start the machine at full speed. It's hard on the electronics. And I've run this thing successfully for 20 years without goofing it up. Now the tip I got, it's just a good idea to back it off to below a thousand for start. So I have that uh, dab of paint right there that's about uh, 600, 700 RPM and that's where I started. It's real happy starting there and it ramps up rapidly. Just to warm this thing up. I'm gonna run it for a couple hours. 
and then I'll put that tool skill in there and make those uh, cuts. Okay then.